Friday all. Goodbye, Newland. This could be the last we see land for a couple of days. The plan is here to go to Ireland, the bottom of Ireland, from, from Land's End. Now, the way things are at the minute, there's very light wind and oh, it's just a whole lot of factors going on. The factors are coming. Uh, the, way, the, the west wind, which, which is where I'm going, I'm going west. It's just going to make this a very difficult and long passage. But if I can get round Land's End, all right, and get a hold of the wind, I'll continue on the passage. If not, I may resort to going to the Silly Isles. It's going to be a tacking match around Land's End. And the swell's starting to come up a bit. And a bit cloudy out there. Let's see what happens when we get to Land's End, what the wind direction is doing, and what I'm actually going to do here. Like. Well, coming in there. Plan at the moment, we're heading out to the Silly Island. Uh, the wind and sea is just coming more and more in the nose, and they just couldn't handle it the whole way over to Ireland. It's just, it's just too much. So, hopefully, it changes uh, in the next few days or so. You know, my goal was to go across this fucking Celtic Sea, right? I'm pissed off, right? Well, I knew the forecast was, wasn't it wasn't ideal, but it, did, it didn't give this sort of fucking swell out here. And this, the swell season off because we're coming back out of it and up by Land's End, and it gives it smooth off in here. But we had the swell, everything coming on the nose from where we wanted to go, Baltimore and Cork, so it's sort of in between there, and then the wind's going to fucking change, so it was going to leave it going harder to Cork, and then would have been more off Baltimore. And then what happens with that there is later later on tonight, about two, three in the morning, no wind. Absolutely no wind. And then we'll have absolutely no wind with this sort of swell left on the nose. And with the engine I handled, I just couldn't make ground. And then coming into Friday, Friday afternoon, uh, we're starting to get uh, more very unsettled weather and higher winds. And then just slightly to the south, we'll have three and four meter seas. And to the west of Ireland, uh, there's big seas fucking rolling in. There's five and six meter seas, along with four, seven winds. Uh, everything is just, far, just too close for my liking. If, if I run about, I run out of wind and have to motor with this engine, only making maybe three, four knots. It's too dangerous. I'm disappointed that I can't get out. But... There's, no, there's just nothing I can do. It's what we're doing now is bottling our way around Land's End. Uh, still, still a red swell coming there now again, like, but it's easing off a bit. I think. I think so. So, when a person up the sides of Land's End here, it gives it, it gives coming up in here to ease off, uh, slacking off, and to go from slight to smooth, and then, or. Uh, was it moderate to no, slight to moderate and then slight to smooth and then smooth later on the night? So we'll just keep bothering this course, punching the tide, and I know things are going to ease up going up this direction. And it'll give me time just to, to see what I'm going to do. So, goodbye for now. then what's happening here is the weather's easing off well the sea's easing off no doubt the fucking seas on wind everything will ease off right we're actually right in land's end now so we've actually came from john o'groach by sea around land's end that's a good one for darn so far he's done john o'groach to land end and it's good for me too john o'groach to land's end by sea and this could possibly end up a total change in, in what was planned, and it's just due to weather. I'm looking to go that way, the wind's coming that way, the swell's coming that way, and then I'm way out in the middle at about 2 in the morning, everything's to die off, so we'll be stuck with this swell, bad visibility, and with my little small dodgy engine. I need a new engine. I need a sponsor, Volvo <laughs> Panda. <laughs> Give me a new engine, Panda. Oh, 
But if you know me, you know I don't like. I don't like motor. I'm like I absolutely get it. Uh, <coughs> I've not actually approved it over the side. I was going to win money or, or get money for going on. I would go this way, but while there's key, I'm paved off. Like I'm genuinely paved off. But get a tack in here and then go way back out this way and lose a load of ground so we can keep moving forward. Right there, this is sort of the reason why we changed the plan. Running your second reef and uh, half head sail, 26 knots of wind. And I'm telling you now, the sea's up and down in here and in here it actually gives slight, a slight sea and there's been no more fucking slight sea in the man in the fucking mood. Yeah, uh, there's a big swell here. Lots of wind. Uh, 22 knots now. Yeah, uh, punch and tide. Still, still going through it here. 4.5, 5 knots. Look at that. <laughs> we are surfing, silly.
They know what you're up to. Oh, no. They know exactly what you're looking to do. Oh, darn you near Adam. Get in there. And not amazing, isn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Dorn into Dale Anchorage and fed and water, huh? I have a kebab there, it was Big, nice. Good kebab. Uh, a bit tired here today, Anna. But, uh, what do you make of the Bristol Challenge? Oh, it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was long, like it was long, yeah. long. It's chappy too. Yeah. But you know, I know we play us in Milford Haven known as Dale Anchorage. Now I remember two years ago when I first came down here and I was sitting up waiting to, to head across the Bristol Channel and uh, when I thought to myself sitting up, well I'll never be back here. And then here I am again. <laughs> so the, the the west coast of the UK now I've done I'm, I'm actually been up and down a load of times now. Which is a Pretty cool, it's something that I never thought I'd be actually doing. And um, since my very first time being here, that my sailing has improved. Like last time, it was like we were really hogging the boat. Like, but back again, we're in Dale Anchorage, and we'll head up into Milford. Uh, maybe meet Doral. Uh, he maybe come down. Doral Walters from Sailing Cruise in UK. Pretty good group too, Sailing Cruise in UK. So check it out on Facebook and have a look at it. Uh, it's felt pretty, a lot of good people in it, and a lot of good advice and good stories. Um, anyway, we'll go in and I'll do a bit of video at it. And, um, we'll give you a quick look around Milford and all uh, tomorrow. But you got to remember, <coughs> I'm not going to do much video in here because back in previous videos, this has all been videoed, so you'll see it back then. But that's it, part of this trip. We're knackered. Maybe chill out time for a bit now. Boats coming in too. So, heading up into Milford Haven now. Uh, what I'm going to tell you here is Deal Anchorage, super wee Anchorage, good holding. But if you're heading up to into Milford Haven and spot there and you've got south sort of winds, coming across this bit where the opening is, just be very wary of it because it can get bumpy here. There is, and they're pretty, they're, they're sharp and steep and very few space in between them. But just remember coming across here it could get bumpy for 10-15 minutes. Just when we we're actually pretty lucky in that bad weather as well. Oh, hold on. Because we're pushing that here. The boat that was hiding the reefing horns in, this boat near slid right out. If that would have slid out, we'd have had a big problem. We could have ripped the sail, we could have done some serious damage. But somebody was looking out for us, so all was well. And we're going to get her fixed right now. Yeah, uh, so well, I've had Doyle down with us, uh, Doyle Walters, and he runs that group sailing cruise in the UK. Yeah, so it'd be worth having a look on Facebook because there's, if you're ever sailing around here, it, it's a it's a good bit of information you can get off it if needed. Go check it out. Dar's went out of his way here to get us. Uh, hadn't he, Dar? Oh, uh, he's actually went out of his way and run about phoning people and, and getting us contacts. Uh, contacting people to get us the horns fixed. So really, really good of him. So cheers, Dar. Uh, thanks for the, for the help. And I'm sure we're in for a good night because we're going to get a bit of crack tonight. Oh, uh, so I'll keep you posted on how the progress goes with the horn. So that's, I actually have it out, and there's there's where the horn broke off. No big deal, this is pretty easy fix to be honest with you. And uh, no damage to the mast or anything, like, so everything's all good. Alright, we're just, we're just back, we've got our, got our horn fixed. And we're ready for action again, baby. So, I'll get the name off off the guy that done this uh, tonight when we're speaking to Darl again, getting a few beers, and uh, we'll give him a shout out. So you gotta you gotta come here and, and check this guy out. If you need to get work done, check this guy out. And uh, top class job. He's one out of his way. So that's where back fitted. Just put the nut and bolt back on. Everything's fine. These are just little marks from. Uh, the thing rubbing, they're not even deep. Yeah, a lot of people see knees and thought my mass was falling apart. We're not that silly. There, just tiny marks. All that fixed. And happy days. Ready to bust it again, darn, eh? Huh? So, 
good job Milford Haven, thanks to Oral and thanks to Oral's mate for sorting us out for us, yeah. it's appreciated. Right, so as I was saying after having a bit of a session up there in Milford Haven, we're down in this deal anchorage, yeah, we're still waiting on weather here. Plan is to go from here to Fish Yard, this is a, a path I've done before, yeah, through the Jack Sound and I think, is it Ramsey Sound or? Ramsey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Conditions I want to have to be pretty dead on for this. Uh, he, here's actually the two places on the chart. Uh, there's Jack Sound and there's Ramsey Sound. The tides in through here can be pretty bad. There's overfalls, eddies, a whole lot, so it needs to be perfect. So we're going to wait to 12 o'clock, see what the weather forecast gives here again, and possibly move today. But if not, it's a definite tomorrow, and it won't be leaving to half two tomorrow. So we can get the tide going through it, because it can only go through this with tide, it can't even punch tide with us. Alright, so as you know, we're not leaving to the morning now. It'll be, hmm, about 3 o'clock, half 3 before we leave, or half 2, sorry, tomorrow. So we're anchored just out here in Dale. But we've been kind enough again to take a land, that our dog was kind enough to lend us his moon ball again. Of course, totally at his own, our own risk, because he hasn't checked it in a while, so we know it's at our own risk like. But Dar looks after his kit, so I'm sure it's still pretty dead on. But we'll set the anchor alarm anyway. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do then is just over in here, we're going to get a paddle board out and, uh, and uh, the dinghy and stuff and, and take a wee spin, spin down. Probably by the, the wee village here, Dale itself. And just the other night, Dar actually drove us from Milford Haven before we went for beer and chips. All down along this coast and then away up to the, the top of the big headland up here. So we got to see a wee bit. That little fucking village looks pretty idle, but when you go down in there, it's actually buzzing. It's a wee, wee small place. Apparently it belongs to the biggest state here, so. We'll go across into the nice green, greeny water and just come down that in the paddle board. I think Darn will take a dinghy. And then he has the, all the cameras and GoPros and stuff in the, in the dinghy. Oh, I try a wee Coronado or a poke or something. I've been in a few times, but it's a nice day. Looking forward to going up the other side. There's nice green water up close to the coast. Let's see what we can see. Come on, let me get to your fucking edge. Uh. That's me and Danger Darn in the Dale. So you always see a Dale from way out there in the actual anchorage. And Dale is pretty damn beautiful in here. Dale's nice, Doyle, isn't it? It's a good spot, there. Lost houses there, huh? So, Doyle was the safety man there. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've got the wee sailing club. Uh, this pier, it can, it could come in possibly to end up in full spring tide. But I'll just not be in there. So, Dale Anchorage. Spot now, if it happened, all closed when I would have went for a walk. But I always think that's a real good way to, to understand uh, Milford Haven. Uh, have the sun's out, a uh, bit of paddle boarding around Dale Anchorage, pretty cool, nice wee place. Uh, sun's out, uh, and we've got a few fellow UK members over in this boat. That's Darl over there. We've got Danger Darn in this boat. So I think we'll end it there, so then you'll see where we're going tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so stay tuned and see where we end up. Enjoy your day, folks.